Hello everybody, yes, it's Pythia, and welcome back to another video on the Twin Place channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about making traps. Um, so this is for the Steel Brain Rot series. If you've been watching, you haven't been watching, feel free to follow the past videos. Now, I do want to inform you guys that um, yeah, this is just specifically for that kit. So you do need the kits and everything, so go watch that. Um, Golden Milk and all the guys who've made the kit, it's all in the description. And I will be releasing my own kit as well. I know Aiden and some other people are uh, that our tutorial helpers, Tigo and Aiden, are working on some kits. Um, in the end, though, I do kind of just want to redo this whole thing because it's just a little bit of a mess. But um, yeah, so we're going to get straight into this. If you're new to the channel, maybe you're just watching from other tutorials and you want to make traps. Um, we're going to go right into that. Now, um, if you haven't watched the last video talking about tools, uh, it basically goes over like what you need. It's just like a simple like folder of everything, and I'll show you how to drag and drop it. Um, so this is pretty simple to make, honestly. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> going into studio, okay? So everything's down there. Like I said, all the links and everything. There's a model, so you can just click claim. Um, I probably should have had it open on my screen right now. Um, but yeah, so just grab the model. Uh, let me just see if I can quickly find it for you guys. Um, let me grab it real quick. Sorry about that. I almost forgot. Um, so it should be this like trap tool thing. Uh, I guess I, yeah, it should be already like uh whatever it's on the kit let me just um oh, yeah, yeah i always do this um open asset details here we go okay yeah so just click this right here and you should be able to like get it or whatever or download it you probably won't have this because i have an extension but you should be able to just to claim it it'll go into your inventory um so with that you're just going to go onto your game so we have our game right now um the last video we talked about the gravity coils um but going into this we're going to be talking about the tools okay so Go into your toolbox. Now, your toolbox right up here in the home tab. And in the inventory box, so this should be after you claimed it, you should be able to have it just right here. Okay, so you had speed coil, gravity coil, all that kind of stuff. So we have trap tool. So importing this, you just click OK. It's going to spawn it. So we have a few things. You can read this if you want. You don't need to. But in here, okay, this is the explorer, explorer and properties. If you don't have this open, go to the view tab and open these two up right here. Um, but with this in the replicated storage, we have a few things and server storage and then this as well. Um, so this is just a thumbnail. You can just delete this. Um, so no worries to worry about that. But yeah, so this is the tool. We're actually going to put this in workspace because I want to show you it. Now, I actually just click F. If you click F on your computer, um, I don't know about mobile light, but if you click F, you should be able to just get dragged to it right away. But this is what it looks like, as you can tell. So um, I made it just like this. Now, you can customize this if you want. It's up to you. If you want to customize it, you would just like either find a trap. So, I mean, there's a few things, but like, okay, so we have... I don't know. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, real quick. Just quickly talking about customizing. Okay, so yeah, this is like a customization, but you can see the sizes are different. So if I were to scale it down, now if you do scale it like this, oh yeah, so this one's okay. You can hold shift as well um, to scale it down so it doesn't like do other things. But like, I mean, you want them to almost look identical to each part. But like, okay, so this is a trap. So let's see what's inside of it. We have open, hitbox, close. Oh yeah, so they also have a close, which is pretty cool. Now, I didn't really do a close version, but this one's pretty cool, which is nice. I might make a close version, but it, for now, it's just like they step on it. It does a sound. Um, so I probably should have thought about that, actually. But for now, it's okay. So, like, if you were to use this, you would, like, see how this is the this is the tool itself. So um, with the tool itself, this is what's going to be, like, in your hand. This isn't what's going to spawn, so I'll talk about that in a second. But if you want it to be what's to spawn, um, actually, best thing for that is in server storage so this is the trap right here we call it basic trap we have a trigger button and we have a handle so actually same thing again you can move this out here let's just grab it real quick and i'll bring it over here for you guys um so remember they're kind of like the same size ish this one's a little bit bigger um but this because this is the handle in your thing but so like this is what's going to spawn on the floor um and with this it has just a handle and a trigger now if you go into both of them can see the uh can collides off okay so make sure that's off and anchor it's on so technically like i was saying if i have this one i would call it like basic trap and we'll go into making more traps in a sec but then i would go like you know i would i would delete the clothes for now but either way i'd call this um this would be the, the handle you don't need to worry about the text or anything inside of it but this would be a handle and then yeah you can delete anything inside of here as well and then this would be called the uh trigger now you should actually just be able to do that and then make sure in both of these for the properties, the yeah, can collide is off, okay? And so anchored on, everything like that just looks great. 
and then you're going to actually just move this into the folder right back in here. So, um, going with that, I'm going to, I'm going to actually use mine for example, but also when it comes to like making the tool, so I could just grab this. I did. So sorry, by the way, I can do copy like control C or you can just right click it. And then let's just say I put it in here. Okay. So I put it in there and then I would just delete the old one. So, um, I guess for example, I could just do it for you guys, but just delete it. it says handle you're good. But you do need to make sure um, using a plugin, um, but it already should be pretty like set. So I think actually you're okay. You just need to make sure it is called handle. But at least you have in the bottom right, it looks exactly like how we want it to place. That's good. So that we don't need to worry about it. Um, okay, you know what? It's fine. We can actually just use this one because we literally just made it. So might as well. Um, okay, so we're good here. Handle trigger. Just make sure there's nothing inside of them, of course. Um, same goes for this one. Just make sure there's nothing inside. Oh, and then um, you do want to make sure this is anchored off if i'm right because this is a tool yeah so you just keep that off um so this is going to go back in here so we can make sure i know what i'm doing um get rid of that okay so we just made a new one so it basically made a new one okay all right let's just make sure we do this right so in server storage we're going to put this folder okay this is a new folder i already have one but this is a new one so i'm actually going to delete the old one because i updated the trap i guess um so i'll make a new one we have traps basic trap for now um, and then, yeah, this is like a basic trap. So it's pretty cool. Okay. Now this is going to be put in the tools folder. So I'm going to go put this in the tools folder. I already have one again. So I'll just delete the other one, but you guys won't. Now, like I said, if you don't have these already made, you need to make sure they're made. Okay. So tools folder. Now this is going to be put into replicated storage under configuration. So this is what we made a bit ago. So configuration, and then we could drag and drop in here. So um, just replace your old ones because if you haven't made anything new, you can just replace it. If you have made something new, you're going to have to go check some stuff. Um, so like put it in there, delete it, blah, blah, blah. You're good to do whatever. So um, they're just scripts. So in the tools, I'm going to show you what I added, okay? So we have trap, right? So we have a description. It's called to trap your enemies. We have the icon. So when it comes to icon, remember, you just like grab a decal. If you go here, you can search up trap and there's like probably this one right here. So I'll click that. And I'll grab this ID and I'll hit command C or control C. And then we can just put this right in here. Okay, I already have it. So price is 50, rebirth zero, starter false, combat is the category. And then we have, and yeah, so we'll talk about that in a sec. Then we have an activation animation, activation sound, and equip sound. We don't need any of these. You could put an activation sound if you want, where it's like if you click it, it like drops it and makes a sound. Or there's this trap sound. So this talks about the sound that's like when someone gets trapped, which that's the same thing going to audio search up trap so there's a bear trap right here that catches someone and then you just insert that okay so same thing and then you'd grab the id right here and then you put that right there which i used that one for that one example actually so it's good so we have a trap time trap max place but trap max uses and a trap delay so going with this um basically it's traps person for 10 seconds if you want to make it less make it less you can put like five but we're gonna do 10 trap max place i did this so basically you can place the trap up to three times in one round or like unless you're reset or you die you can place it three times in the whole world so if someone gets trapped and um they use that trap and you had three down um it's gonna be two and then you have to wait the delay or whatever and you can place another one again but for now it's just three now max uses it's just one time so like that means each trap can only be used once um, and then there's also trap delay. So how long till place, um, till you can place another trap. So it's like five seconds between like placing traps, which you should definitely have. So make sure you do that. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Now, like I said, you want to make more traps. Um, basically with that, you would just duplicate these scripts. Okay. And you'd call it like, let's say a gold trap. Um, and then you would like go in here and, um, go like this and like, go down right here and you'd call it like a gold trap or something like that and then you'd have to change some of these values because you want it to be worth more you know maybe the rebirth things like that and then you go into the module as well and you would want to name this right here like gold trap so when it comes to gold trap then you see where these errors are okay so this is where you search up um okay so right here gold trap oh wait that's not what i meant to do so i'd go right here i go gold trap and then we have one more error, so I'll talk about this in a sec, but yeah, return. So, gold trap. Um, and then, of course, you got to make sure that in the server store... Oh, yeah, and also, which I kind of need to talk about the script in general, which we'll go into, but you would have to go in the, the folder right here and search up 
um, gold trap. Okay, you just replace that because that's in the assets and traps. And then you'd like basically duplicate this and call it gold trap. So it's not too crazy. Um, sorry, I went a little fast right there. But either way, you would just do that. So I'll, I'll explain the, the script so you understand it a bit better. But um, yeah, and then I mean, like same thing for this though. Like if you want to make it a different color, things like that. The reason I have the other trap is because you can actually customize the colors like the one I the originally had. But we'll go into that later. Okay, so for the trap, okay? Um, yeah, like I said, same thing right here. So in the script, basically, we're doing a few things, okay? And I'll tell you when, I should, when we play it. But we're basically going to create a new folder. And we're going to set the debris to it or whatever. And we're going to set traps. And we're going to set, like, new folders based on the player IDs. So I'll show you what it looks like when we play the game. But it's just basically going to just, like, sh have a folder for each player. And we're going to be putting new traps in each folder. Um, just to make sure we know that it's the player that we're grabbing and not the owner um just in case but yeah so server storage assets trap folder basic so this is right here where you just have to change this if you're going to make a new trap um just to make sure that we're grabbing the right one in server storage just for looks that's just looks um but there's also a build fallback which i guess JatchBT put in but it's just like if you don't have it but yeah either way um then there's this as well oh yeah and then the primary part i forgot to talk about i think these have primary parts right okay so i almost missed that same thing for this though you want to make sure that uh, the trigger, so yeah, basic, fine, first trigger, primary part, main and base, base part. So you want to make sure that the primary part is actually set to trigger. If, I, if I'm right, I'm pretty sure. Or I forgot what's wrong. I forgot if it was that one or it was the handle. Either way. Um, and then this goes over the function of like getting, if they stand on the trap, um, and then this is going to freeze them. So it's going to anchor them. And then this is going to unanchor them. And then this goes to the attach. So this kind of talks about like the delays. Uh, it goes over like when they touch it. So trigger not touched. We're basically going to check. Yeah. So, I mean, it kind of has all the comments. So you guys should definitely look at these comments because you might learn something from it. And then there's the trap sounds, all that kind of jazz. All right. So um, that's about it. Making the traps pretty simple. Now, I only have two bases for mine. So don't worry about it. I just do it because I just want to test. And I'm actually working on an update with the locks. I heard someone mention that we, there's multiple locks and multiple floors. I didn't know that. I don't play it, so I need to realize that. And then I also want to work on a third floor, so we'll talk about that. But if you were to test this out, you could go to the test thing and click it's to two players, hit start. Okay. So clicking start, it's going to load up and do a test server. So this is going to work for both people. Now, it's loaded on my left screen probably right here too, so I'll just have to look through this. But um, I'll just do it with my character right now. So, okay. So, yeah, we load in, got our characters, blah, blah, blah. And yes, guys, I am working on Lucky Blocks. I know a lot of people are asking about that, so I am doing that. But yeah, so we have the traps. Of course, the gold one and the normal trap. But we have a normal trap, as you can tell. So it works. So we have our trap right here. That's good. All right, so I've cooked place. As you can see, though, this is a little tinier. So just, like, bear with me. That's probably because of the other thing. But okay, so if you go to Workspace and Debris and look at traps, you can see that it put my user ID or whatever, which is just negative one because we're just uh, a person. I mean, we're just using test. But see how it's placing them? So I can't place one right now. I can't place them because it's not allowing me to. But um, there you go. Oh, yeah, there's my lucky block that I'm trying to work on. Okay, so now that that happened, basically. Okay, so I can't place anymore because I put three. So I'm going to go on my other character. All right, so um, I can actually just like, yeah, I'll just like watch this on the screen. But um, I'll go on my other character. I'm going to walk over here so you guys can see this. But look, so I'm walking right now. Oh, that's a little laggy on my screen. But oh, yeah, so that's where I get stuck. Okay. Now, it did teleport me, so <laughs> so that's where you do have to watch out with this part. So, uh, which one did I get stuck on? Oh, yeah, that just teleported me. Um, that is not what's supposed to happen. <laughs> so, where's the trigger? Oh, yeah, right here. Uh, anchored. I think that's probably the issue. I kind of forgot. Um, you need to watch out for that part. So, let me double check. I think it was because if we use, if that happens, by the way, this is why you need to test if you make a new one always test things because you never know so this is the server storage one so um anchored can collide is off i think it probably is, it could probably be because of these things um but let's just do that just make sure it goes like that and then i don't know traps that's fine these ones this one works though um and then server storage tools touch interest yeah this should be fine as well can collide and anchored off um just double checking things make sure they're the same thing and that should work but you guys kind of get the point. Um, I wonder why I did that. But like, if I were to, honestly, I'm just going to delete these old ones and put the new one in that I made just for the uh, sake of it. 
but yeah so it basically freezes your character and it makes sure that you, you just can't move basically so that's pretty much that it's nothing too crazy um and then yeah tools i'm gonna go delete this gold trap because i don't want to gold trap for now um but you guys get the point of that and then um yeah so traps basic trap should be good right there and then i'm gonna just get rid of gold trap as well in here um okay now if i i'm gonna test it again just just in case but we should be good here so let me just click test one more time all right one more time let's just see i hope it doesn't break <laughs> it shouldn't be broken because i did this literally a bunch and it didn't it worked normally but yeah so now this one's a little bit bigger see that kind of looks better um okay i step on it let's hope it doesn't tp to me this random place yeah there we go so um so my character's frozen like I, I literally can't move like my character is just stuck um so it's gonna do that and then maybe it'll disappear on my screen yeah so there you go and then i can move and do stuff now the reason we're doing that is so um you know if you're if you're trapped of course it's just basically so we don't have to worry about it um but yeah as you can tell it's like i place it down puts it in the traps in the folder and, and you're good um i will have to probably fix one more thing later in the future because checking if someone's like trapped or not or just seeing you know whatever and they like use like a tool but either way for now it makes it so they can't use anything um but yeah so um yeah i hope you guys kind of uh enjoyed this uh short tutorial sort of short kind of wanted to explain things a little more because i heard some people are telling me to slow down a little bit so i tried to slow down a little bit <laughs> but um yeah i will see you guys in the next video and have a good one goodbye